I'm on the Regent's Canal, just to the north of King's Cross Station, and I'm here to point out something to you that thousands of people walk past without even noticing. And I include myself in that until I was told about it recently at the London Canal Museum. And it's just here, you can see a small piece of metal here, and you might just make out a piece of wood just there. Now, if you know canals, that looks like a canal lock of the sort that help canals go up and down hills. It's not. This section of the canal is completely flat. So why is there what looks to be a lock gate where there is no lock? It's a legacy of World War II. It's a flood barrier in case of attack. The reason it's here is because of something over there, and that is the King's Cross Station. The railways that approach the King's Cross Station, they run in three large tunnels underneath the canal. If the canal had been hit by a bomb just over there, the canal would have flooded the railway. Now, because the railway is below the level of the canal and goes out onto the streets, the canal would have drained straight through and out. It would not have completely flooded the railway. And in those days, railways were being repaired fairly quickly, so the damage would have been sorted out. However, the canal would have been completely drained of water. Today, the canals are decorative. They're for people going for walks, jogs, and for the leisure boat. But during World War II, this area was heavily industrialised, warehouses, goods, cargo, and the canals were a critical component of getting the cargo from the Thames to this section of London. Had a bomb hit over there and drained the canals, all the cargo deliveries in this part of London would have come to a complete stop. It would have been devastating to the war effort as well as to deliveries for London itself. So, when there was an air raid siren, the gate here, and there's another one beneath my feet, would have been closed. Had a bomb hit over there, that section of the canal would have drained. But the canal behind me, all the way down to the Thames, would have remained full and could have continued to be in use for the war effort and to bring in food and deliveries for Londoners. So that's a little bit of canal history you might not have noticed.